Jenna Malaro. Okay, Jenna, can you tell us what's going on uh, currently today? Well, today is the first day that we are digging our hole for our rainwater containment. Thank you. What, what's the <laughs> rainwater containment for? Um, so we are going to be collecting rainwater. This system is going to hold 32,000 gallons. Uh, we have other rainwater containment systems in the ground already, but we have run out of water in the middle of summer and had to switch things to our well, which we don't want to drain. Um, so we are taking all the water that rains on the garage and we have the potential to take some from what rains on, wait, no, it's going to be all the garage and half of the caretaker residence, okay. or um, the farmhouse. They know what you mean. Uh, they know. And they know. it's all going you into know. this system and then we can use it for, we'll be using it to water the garden, we can use it for laundry, to shower if we want. and. We're not planning on doing this right now, but we can use it for drinking water in the future. And that is becoming more of a concern with the Mountain Valley Pipeline being um, installed less than 1.4 miles from here. Um, so we, uh, if the pipeline were to leak and contaminate our groundwater and our well, we could use our rainwater. We just have to filter it and treat it. Um, with uh, some UV light like we do our own drinking water and then we can use that for drinking water too. Um, hopefully we will never need to do that. But with climate change, uh, you never know. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you.
Yeah, Casey. How are you? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Tell us about the rainwater project. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, while the rainwater containment will soon be filling with 32,000 gallons of pure rainwater, our, for our irrigation, laundry, and toilet flushing needs, we are also filling up with gratitude for everybody who has helped with this project, including the Wheaton Franciscan Sisters, uh, expert advice from uh, farm friend Dan Shimura, Lee at Resource Conservation Technologies for materials and guidance, Marcus and Jenna for project planning and execution, uh, all of the caretakers for their generous manual labor, uh, Michael, Dwayne, and Larry at m and Dirt Work for excavation and backfill, Reese Pump Service, John Staunton for electrical connections, and uh, several people who helped in the build-up to the project, including our Ethos Engineering interns, Clara Bell, Izzy Hoffmeister, Sammy Miller, Therese Yoakum and Sarah Brightfield, and everybody who gives time, talent, and treasure to Bethlehem Farm. We've all come together to make Bethlehem Farm a more resilient community amid whatever trials, in this case droughts, that lay ahead by conserving the gift of rain uh, freely falling from above. And above all, we praise God from whom all blessings flow as we pray for the wisdom, courage, faith, and simplicity needed to preserve a livable climate for all. Thanks to everybody. Not done yet. Could be. Mostly done. Woo! Now we take Marcus off to the side. Yeah. <laughs>